Welcome back, YouTube! Back here with an update on my cheapy rinky dink aquaponics. Let's see how it's doing. Here we are. I added some more anacris to this setup. As you can see, you probably already noticed it if you've been keeping up with the videos. And I move the pump over to increase circulation of the water. And my guppies in there are still doing great. There's three of them. That male that I had before, he's in the back somewhere. But he's still in there. And this female, I thought she would have probably dropped her brood by now. That one there is looking at us, facing us, I guess. But she hasn't, so I don't know. Maybe she's not carrying anything. Or I guess we'll see in a few days. I'm not really too sure on their uh, on how long they keep their babies inside them. But I moved one of the peppermint shrimp up here up top to try to alleviate some of the algae. I had a lot of algae building up here on these roots for my plant life, but as you can see, the the roots are just like taking off on these guys here. It's crazy growth. And I added some anacris up top to create kind of a, a dam here to help out with the filtration of it. And it seems to be doing its job Pull out the roots. Look at that. Look how much growth. Jesus, that's a lot. That extra stuff is like. I don't know what that is. Probably some kind of lots of plastic that's been left in, in the water. But that is a lot of root growth. Even though it is coated with a lot of algae, that shrimp is really just gonna. Sorry, I got a loud car passing by. That shrimp is really just gonna clean that all off. That's his job, that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna make that like brand new again, I guess. I'll show you the foliage next. And the other root systems. This one I put, took off a few uh, leaves that were starting to brown or yellow. No point in keeping dead leaves on foliage. All it does is just take away from the plant. So we'll see where he ends up in another week or so. But this one is uh, starting to show more growth as well. Not only in the leaf system, but in the root system as well. As you can see, it's, it's, this one is slow and going, but he or she is taking off. And I'm extremely impressed with the foliage growth, growth on this one. Look how much it's grown since the last time. Like it's really just taking off. root system as well. You see a lot of these the white roots here. This fresh um, hydroponic type roots. And it shows this plant is really thriving and absorbing all of the nutrients that it can out of this water that's applied to it. And I just did an algae clean on this, at least on the top half, which is why the water seems pretty clear. The bottom half, I gotta do an algae, algae clean on it, but it's pretty clean as well. And as you can see, the fish are just like, I just fed them earlier and they're still very active. They're happy, they're not like stressed or depressed at all. 
I'm waiting on my heater. I ordered a heater for this thing like last week. And it should have been here by now, but it hasn't showed up. Well, let's see when that comes. I'll have to check up on it and see what the new ETA is on it. Here's the mail. It finally came out. Yeah, they're doing they're doing great. They're all happy. You can see the roots growing. And that other smaller one in the back. They're all just thriving, taking off. This is great. This is really just like Making me feel so great. Happy plants. Like Bob Ross says, happy little trees. Just some happy little trees. And I guess I should uh, give you an update at the same time on my uh, other back to the roots set up here. First off, I guess I should let you know that I added some of these pre-grown herb setups that we got from Walmart. We have some mint, some parsley, some thyme, some rosemary in the back there, and some basil. Just added that yesterday, so we'll see where that goes in a week from now. I left them in their uh, original potting soil substrate to see how they'll do. I'll probably just end up leaving them in there because really the water level is just up to the bottom of this pretty much, so it's just enough. I guess if you were to have like a, one of those, I forget what it's called, but a tray at the bottom of the pot where you just fill it up so that it has fresh water just to keep the soil moist. So in my theory, I guess it'll still absorb any of the nutrients that it needs from the supply of aquarium water. In order to help the plants thrive and to help clean The toxic waste from the water the fish need to survive and to thrive. Um, also, on a note, you've noticed that we got two fancy Oranda goldfish. I had my kids this uh, past weekend and week, and I let them pick them out for this uh, setup. The betas that I had in here prior, they ended up passing, um, and I had, I had did some research on that, and it seems like it's probably because they didn't have a male to release the eggs that they were holding. Um, I guess in some cases where there's a female that's producing eggs or holding eggs, if she doesn't have a male to help release it, release them, then they would end up rotting and basically killing the fish, the female that was holding them, which I think is crazy. Never would have thought of that, but I ended up finding that out. Wasn't told that information by any of the uh, fish store people or pet shop uh, helpers. No matter what story, I've never heard anything about that from, about betas, so just thought I'd share that with anybody if anyone has never came across that or might be wondering. I didn't know, so now you know if you didn't. But other than that, everybody's doing great. Um, I picked up this other female because we ended up buying another male the other day, like we said last video, because the females that were originally in this tank killed the male. It's crazy. It's kind of like, I don't know, what is that? Um, karma? 
I guess. So, this male that is in here, he's probably behind that cup, which is another female that I'm introducing to this tank, so you can try to breed with, I guess. We'll see if that works. I don't think so, though, because he hasn't. He's not building his bubble nest in here. He might be too young. Which I guess this will be a trial and error type of experiment with beta fish. Picking one up that we like and not really working out and vice versa, all that stuff. We'll see. Maybe tomorrow we'll have something going on up here. And I can let her out. With her cup. We'll see. So, I hope you guys liked the video. And if you see anything that I could change to make it better, I hope you, you know, leave it in the comments. Help me make adjustments that might need to be made. Um, but this is what I've been up to. And. I hope you guys liked it. So thanks for watching and have a good one.